Good morning, everyone. Today we are continuing module two, lesson three. I can count by fives and ones on the number line as a strategy to tell time to the nearest minute on the clock. Okay, let's check out this word problem. Heather arrived at school this morning at 7.49 a.m. Let's find that time on the number line below. So yesterday, we spent some time talking about how a number line is like a clock, right? We have intervals, which are like space. Um, how do I want to say that? Intervals are like if I'm looking here, from here to here, this is an interval, like a group that goes together. And then we have another group that goes together. So we have intervals of five, kind of like segments or sections. Let me go ahead and erase that. Um, okay, so Heather arrived at school this morning at 749. So if I'm looking at this number line like a clock, I'm going to say that zero minutes is when we're at, we have our first hour, which is seven o'clock, because I know 749 comes between seven o'clock and eight o'clock, right? Seven o'clock and eight o'clock. And I need to find 49 on the number line. So yesterday when I was working with kids, I was hearing really smart things. Things like, okay, I have to think about what two numbers 49 comes between. And when I'm looking here on the number line, I'm thinking it comes between 45 and 50. So remember, in order to put my minutes on here, I've got to draw them in. So 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, that's the time we need, 749. So I'm gonna mark this. Here's my 749 on the number line. Okay, let's think about the conversation that we had yesterday. How is a clock similar to a number line? Now there are a few correct answers here. I want you to think about this. How is a clock similar to a number line? So I'm gonna think about some things that I notice. I'm noticing that this number line goes from zero to 60. I also notice that on a clock, the minutes go from zero, which we call o'clock, all the way to 60 when we get back to the 12, because there are 60 minutes in an hour. That's one thing I notice. Another thing I notice is that the number line goes in intervals of five. So every jump, I go five more, five more, five more, five more. And I notice that on a clock, it's the same way. Five, 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 five. Every jump is five. So I'm seeing two ways that a number line is like a clock. Also, if I were to, dry, to draw in my minutes, Here's another way that a number is like the clock. If I draw in my um, one minute segments in between my intervals, then I also am showing that each one goes by one, just like on the clock. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. So that's another way. So I just came up with three ways that a clock is similar to a number line. Okay, show 48 on the number line and then draw 548 on the clock. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is label our number line, right? So 548 is gonna come between which two hours on the clock? That's gonna come between five o'clock and six o'clock. So at zero minutes, I'm gonna label that five o'clock. And when 60 minutes passes, it's going to be six o'clock, okay? So I have to show 48 on the number line. So if I'm counting, what does 48 come between? 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, okay. It comes between 45 and 50. So let's draw those in, 46, 47, 48, I'm gonna mark it with a stamp, 548 on the number line. Now we have to draw it on the clock. 
Ooh, let's see, I have this arrow tool. Let's see how this works. 548, so my hour I know is five. Ooh, look at that, cool. My hour is five. So that one's a kind of easy one. I just point to the five. Now 48 is where we get a little trickier. So in our minutes, we have to count by fives until we get to 45, just like on the number line. Then we have to go three more to get to 48. So watch me. I go zero, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48. So see how I was able to jump by fives all the way until I got to 45, just like on the number line. Then I just had to go three more, one, two, three. So these numbers kind of serve as a guide so that you don't have to just go by one, 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 one. That would take all day. That's why these fives are here to help us. So 548. Okay, let's try 1214. So I have to ask myself, what does 1214 come between on the clock? Well, I know it's after 12 o'clock and it's before one o'clock, right? So my minute, my zero is going to be 12 o'clock and my 60 is gonna be one o'clock, okay? And I have to find 14. So I know 14 comes after 10, and before 15. So I go 11, 12, 13, 14. There it is. I'm gonna mark it with this stamp, 12, 14. So can I do the same thing on the clock? I know that my hour is 12 because I always look at my hour first and my minutes is 14. So on the number line, I went zero, five, 10, and then I started counting by ones. Can we do the same thing on the clock? Zero, five, 10, here we go. One, two, three, 14, there it is. Oh, I like these long hands here. All right. 1214 on the clock. Let's try another one like this. Show 28 on the number line. Show 28 on the number line. So I know that 228 is going to come between which two hours? Hmm, that's going to come between two o'clock and three o'clock, right? It's after two o'clock, but it's before three o'clock. So my zero is two o'clock and 60 minutes later, my 60 is three o'clock. Okay, now I have to go to 28 minutes. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Now I go by ones, 26, 27, 28, there it is. I'm gonna mark it with the stamp, 228. Okay, now let's try that over here on the clock. So my hour is two, so my short hand goes to the two. Now, 28, so I go zero, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, I gotta move my picture, I'm in the way. Let's go back, uh, where'd my mouse go? There it is, 25, 26, 27, 28. So my long minute hand's gonna go to 28, two, 28. I'm glad I found those arrows, those are pretty cool. Okay, boys and girls, now it's your turn to show me what you know from your lesson yesterday and your lesson today on the problem set. Good luck. <laughs> 